Imagine yourself in the middle of a very important meeting or traveling or with guests or you've just gone to bed after a very tiring day and suddenly you feel an absolutely compelling desire to scratch the itch down there in your vagina. You change your position, you rub yourself against your seat or you gently excuse yourself and rush to the toilet and then give yourself a cool jet spray of cold water and then you feel a little relieved only to have all of these symptoms coming back to you after some time. I call it as a witch, the V itch, the wicked evil vaginal itch that really drives the hell out of you. Today we are going to talk about this witch. I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, will take you through why does the witch happens, what can we do about it. The commonest causes of course a fungal infection Please remember that the vulva or the vagina or the internal passage, they are full of fungi and bacteria. These organisms are needed to keep that area healthy, to keep that area moist with their juices. However, when there, whenever there is a change in that environment, for example, if you are using very uh, harsh soaps or you are using Detol, Savlon or other chemicals, if you are using perfumed spray or other cosmetics, if you have a viral fever or on antibiotics. You are actually changing their cozy home environment and then they become angry and when they become angry they start giving you troubles. Is it always a fungal infection? No, it can be infections other than fungus, it can be allergies, it can be skin irritation, it can be skin conditions which are long-standing or it can be a sexually transmitted infection. Why does the itch keeps coming back? One wrong diagnosis. Just because you had a fungal infection before does not mean that every witch that you have is related to the fungal infection. So it's a good idea to see your doctor if it's keep coming back. Two, inadequate treatment in form of dose and duration of the medications. Three, excessive cleaning. Please remember, as I said before, that you need to have those fungus and you need to have those bacteria to keep that area moist and healthy. Dry vagina. If the vagina is very dry, then the itch can keep coming back. Use of tight undergarments or the non-cotton ones. It's better to use a looser undergarment. It's better to use a cotton one. And it's always better to wash them thoroughly so that no detergent stays behind. And it's also a good idea to dry them in bright sunlight. Tight lowers or tight trousers or jeans. This can also lead to a unhealthy environment over there. If the witch is keeping coming back, then it's a good idea maybe to switch to a looser airy pattern. When do you need to see the doctor? If the symptoms are bothering you significantly, if the symptoms keep coming back, if the itch is associated with a lot of discharge which can be curdy, yellowish, greenish or brownish. If it is associated with painful sores or there is a soreness around that area which is redness or a raw feeling. If, it is, if there are burning or you can feel a lump or some ulcer. If you are suspecting or you are worried about a sexually transmitted infection. What can I do to prevent the witch? 1. Avoid excessive cleaning or douching inside the vagina. As I said, your private bugs do not like a squeaky clean environment down there. If you are cleaning yourself clean with cool water, that should be good enough. Avoid very regular use of the commercially available intimate washes. Avoid using soaps, chemicals, uh, perfume sprays and other cosmetics. Rub it gently or avoid rubbing at all. It is a good idea to just pat it dry instead of rubbing. Use vaginal moisturizers. Keep your undergarments dry and clean. It's a good idea to clean them, wash them thoroughly so that there is no trace of detergent left behind. And it's also a very good idea to dry them in bright sunlight. Use the cotton fabric ones most of the times. You keep those fancy synthetic ones only for special occasions. And stop self-diagnosis go and see your doctor. Can which be a symptom of cancer? 
The answer is yes. But fortunately, very, very rarely. The alarming signs are burning, pain or discomfort while passing urine. Two, if the symptoms are long standing and it's not responding to the usual medications. Third, if there is a pimple or a sore or an ulcer or a lump down there. I hope you are now well equipped to face the witch. So couple it with your doctor's expert advice and then crush, absolutely crush the witch to death. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.